Так, игра опять выкинула, это... Блядь. Блядь. Так, там два простыли, у одного мигрень. Вот это вот головная боль, мигрень, у меня нету рецептов. Это просто пиздос какой-то, вот она простуда. Слышь, что, блядь? Good evening, man. Good evening. Do you need med? I'm afraid. No, son. Thank you. На нахуй. Все. Клятва Гиппократа выполнена, ачивка. Goodbye, Nath. Так. Гомосексуалы, где вы там? Миг... Вот мигрень этот, это пиздос какой-то. У меня нету от мигрени. Hello, again, У него головная боль, Good потом мигрень, а потом он наверное, сдохнет. Так. Goodbye, Надо срочно все пошел по сюжету, по сюжету пошел. А, возможно, что-то появится там. Уже будет более известно. Так, это чё? Это просто дом. Давай. Угу. Здесь просто не тянет нихуя. Хорошо. Скачили. Три. Блять. Топор меняем на пилу. Она более прокачана. Там, сука. Слышь, что? Ну все, тебе пизда должен быть. Да, все. Все круто, 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 круто. Собираемся эту хуйню от них оставшуюся. Все, что осталось. Да, блядь. Так, сюда, да, судя по всему. 
Так, расследование. Все здесь вот какие-то есть у нас расследования. что так Так, это туда. И тут как раз вот эти, да, расследования? Бралли. Давай сходим, наверное. Ну, сейчас посмотрим, если здесь, типа, враги очень охуевшие, типа... Да, здесь враги охуевшие. Нахуй тогда. Кто это там? Типа это только... Угу. Хорошо. Сейчас мы все сделаем. Подожди, но ну по идее все верно, мне сюда. 
Neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Petrescu. Petrescu is on the other side. Okay. смысл даже его не понимаю зачем тогда это надо было нахуй кого-то убил are you all right the bastard at the wall next to me I don't even know if he meant to miss if you've been hurt I can help you I'm a doctor name's Albert remember it now bugger off Yeah. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything. It ain't me. All right. Perhaps the poor drunk just confused you with someone else. Shut off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Perhaps you could help me. I said. Так, что он там? Кто это? Альберт Палмер. Sod off. Go find yourself another guide. Do you need assistance? Please. Feeling tired these days. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. Так. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. I found the recruiter you were expecting. He's dead, but he carried a note. The wet boot boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. Yeah. You're being manipulated by these criminals. What's worse is that you're clever enough to know better. You're all fancy words, none of which concern me. Go worry about someone else. I'm fine and I have a future here. Хотя будущее на хоть заливать, блядь, дебил ебаный. Goodbye, young. I'll not die in some pissing. Так. Бажан Палмер. Неизвестен. Так. А, ну там где враги ходят. A TikTok. What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? 
You saw what happened. Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, Doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. Uh. What can you tell me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live, and this is where I live now. You don't have anywhere to go. No family that would welcome you. Not since the death of my wife, Albert's mother. She was sick, you see. Long before the flu and all this shit. You mean you used to have a better life? Yeah, I had a wife, a home, and a job. I even used to have a name. And now I'm just Ben. Ben the Trap. Perhaps you could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick, broke, and my son just stole my pills. <laughs> Everything's coming up roses. You don't seem well, Benjamin. Do you... Oh. I will see you later. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for her too. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? The word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. Yeah. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the head, you see, and the boy just, just faked me last nerve. What is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors called me a liar. A coward. Put me in a straight jacket, locked me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. It's a pity that doctors still practice such barbaric methods. It's a dishonor to our profession. Now only the pills stop me thinking about this shit. To not hear the explosions. I'm even scared of the dark these days. Yes, yes, I did правильно все. Восхитительно. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. I won't end up with another drunk arsehole littering the streets. Not me. How are you? I'm not your. Dad. Goodbye, young. I'll not die in some piss stinking alley. Freaking worse than a weak old lavy. Sort of bloody job to you, eh? Stealing drugs from the sick and suffering. When science fails you, this elixir will give you faith again. I took to. Bloody hell. Tut the car Да. Good evening. Good evening Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Uh... Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? 
I'd like to know more about her. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. Tell me, who intrigues you most in Whitechapel? The region itself is something to see, but I would say Camellia the Mint Florist who gives away her flowers. Немая цветочница. Немая. То есть она она умеет читать вот эти вот. Хотя тоже для слепых. What do you think of the locals? Most of them are afraid or desperate. They all come to me eventually for my remedy. Is there anyone I should avoid? Cadogan Bates, without a doubt. The bloody bastard remorselessly exploits poor migrants as soon as they get here. Так что духа в Лондоне задать личный вопрос нету. Торговаться. Бальзам, да? Так, ладно. All the good boys join the army and the scum turn criminal. It's a shame, really. Get out of this village. Так, все, вещи открыты. Это здорово. Да ты сука. Так, это убежище, да? Предмет. Так и выход, да? Так, смотрим. Так. 
перебрать, перебрать, перебрать. Так, улучшение. Топор. Два лучшим топор. Это сюда, это сюда. В смысле, я понять не могу. Типа. А, типа. Бля... Ой, дебил, блядь. Получается, я просто открыл, а потом выбираю, типа, то ли и все. А я-то думал, что, блядь, на них. Ебаный придурок. О, вообще, теперь понятно, ресурсы тратятся так или иначе. То есть я выбираю, либо оглушение либо расход понятно блять сука так дробачен и теперь смотрим на симу урон урон все замечательно пистолет Урон, естественно. Так. Пиздец, проебал ингредиент. Ладно, все, стой теперь я понял, знаю. Все. Так, 660, да? Ладно, будем экономить. отнимает пила и топор пила 82 правильно все топор почти что там крысы пополним кровячку пополним Активы. Так, все замечательно. Good evening, sir. Do you remember me? If you're here for a reward, you'll be sorely disappointed. But I'll gladly shake the hand of a fellow countryman. I'm not here for a bounty. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed from the Pembroke. A doctor? 
In Whitechapel. What an opportunity. My name's Bates. Cadogan Bates. Do you require assistance, Mr. Bates? Not me, but your skills could help a lot of people round here. That would help my business, because I say, a live tenant's a paying tenant. Since I took an oath... Well... Infecting you is probably the last thing on these people's minds. Take this. What? You give me this for free? <sighs> Don't have a clue about this place, do you? I'm looking for Dorothy Crane. She's a nurse. What can you tell me about her? Dorothy Crane, bless her soul. I really should thank her someday. Has she treated you? No. When I need a checkup, I'd go to a bloody doctor, not some back alley clinic full of sick foreigners. Mm. Okay. It's un unusual to see someone so happy around here. Especially considering the current situation. <laughs> Why should I be sad now? There have always been wars, disease, tragedy. There always will be. That's an unusual way of seeing things in these trying times. I don't see why I should shed a tear for another man's woes. I'm healthy, and I intend to stay so. What help could I possibly be to your business? That's simple. I already get good money from all those fleeing the war. Can you imagine what they'd be willing to pay if I could offer medical assistance to... Mr. Bates, do not make me regret saving your life in this quarantine zone. I understand, Dr. Reed, you're from a good family. Don't want to get your hands dirty. That's fine. I'll be happy to act as your middleman. Я сейчас все расследую, потом сожру его нахуй к хуям, тварь такую. If I were entering into the world of street medicine, it would be on my terms and without such dubious associates as yourself, Mr. Bates. So it's a no then. That's too bad. The reed tonic could have really helped people, you know, save lives. Isn't that what you do? I mean, people buy that swamberous shit. What is your business, exactly? I offer fair lodgings for a modest price to the poor and weary of Whitechapel. I see. And what about those who cannot pay? Well, deals can be done, if you know what I mean. Money's not the only currency. After all, I'm not immune to a pretty face. Чего, блядь? Кадаган зарабатывает, сдавая иммигрантам непригодные для жилья дома. Вайчек. Типа смазливые проституции занимаются и там отсасывают ему. Что за хуйня? Мигрень, ты восстанавливается. А. In other words, you take advantage of these poor lost souls. Begging your pardon, I thought you was a man who could appreciate the complexity of the modern world. Things ain't just black and white, you know. Она вообще-то. Tell me, what's your honest opinion of the increasing violence in London? People are just beginning to discover what we've always known. This city's rotten to the core. They just took their bloody time to wake up and notice it. What do you mean? People are acting like the violence is news. But it's always been savage down here. It just bubbles to the surface every now and again. And, uh... You seem to have recovered well since your attack. Do you ever think about what happened to you? Not much. It was a fucking nightmare. Savages, absolute bloody savages, their appearance. Jesus, that made me want to puke. You'd better not come back here. I won't be around next time to save you. Goodbye, Mr. Bates. Так, мне он вообще, честно, не нравится. Ну пока вы жрать особо нету смысла. С 
сожрем, может, как это. Уж как выполним пару заданий за него. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. <laughs> Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. Go into the... That house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. It's locked. Так, ну я вон вижу Дороти Крейн. I will return later. Ah, this is Mr. Bates. Evening. I'm looking for it. Tell me truthfully, why are you so thankful? By keeping my tenants alive, she's making me a rich man. Every month. Dirk. Goodbye, Mr. B. Since I took an Omora. Goodbye, Mr. Bates. There's nobody here. Так, как мне туда? Блять, пиздос какой-то. Все действие дарился Петреску. средства от бронхита вон на край наш сука на лодке упрыла Дариус, как 
His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidercott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. А не проще ли вот так вот перепорхнуть нахуй через забор, блядь? И все, у нее своя клиника, блядь, частная. Ага, здорово. Чего у тебя? Welcome, sir. Please take a browse of my wares. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Так, начнем, наверное. Ну. Посмотрим, что он торгует чем. Show me what you have. Бля, у меня вообще нет бабла. Что за хуйня? What did she do to gain such notoriety? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse Crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no. Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Так это же нормально, ты дебил, блин. Так, Дороти раздает лекарства в парту бесплатно. Это нормально. О, медицина же для того и нужна. How is business around here? Business? I have no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me... He's trying to put me out of business once and for all. John Peterson. As a mer merchant, you see one chap every propaganda. day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Have you been hurt? No, but that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Vipelia, Scully, I bet. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me. Came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever, madness, something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Новое расследование замечательно. Не 
какие-то да, вопросы. Ну хорошо. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. Здесь неподалеку, да? Да, сейчас ходим сюда. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed. At your service. I'm Joe Peterson, the son. But Colossus joke the most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. May I ask what you do around here? I'll do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the Wet Boot Boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. Duh. Most people don't become thugs when unemployed. This is a choice you made. I don't care what you think, sir. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Чего? Job и Barrett Lewis никогда были близкими друзьями. Ах. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Так. Mr. Peterson. Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right, then. But be quick. Though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. <laughs> do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Anything you can tell me about her would be helpful. I don't know her. But I know her name is Dorothea Krasionescu. She came from Romania like me and many others. You seem to respect her. Dorothea helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone should respect that. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London, and you could be exposed or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals. But I don't like you asking questions.
Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. I do, uh, you can put your own pay. life in danger. That's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger too. And you think that would worry me? If you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. Не должны найти престижные работы из-за статуса иммигранта. Окей. Так. I'm sure you could have found another job, perhaps less lucrative. Maybe you should try again. And when exactly was the last time you looked for a job? Or worried about the rent, or what, or when you were going to eat? Постоянно. Если что. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Шлюха. Сколько у вас здесь, блядь? Я хуею. Дикшон, блядь. Я должен пиздеть с вами всеми. Ah, это просто невыносимо. Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry. Ah, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me, since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He has no relatives at all? No, except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. He never goes out? No, a few days ago he unexpectedly did. I followed him. But it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? Yes, man, let's talk about it. We need to end it. It's a war going on. People should be demoralized by news of deadly diseases. I served in France. Our top priority must be to put an end to this butchery. This war must stop now. Sir, streets are a battlefield too. An invisible and untold war is going on, and it must be stopped. Duh. 
What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. So you risk your life to reveal the truth. I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. That's quite honorable of you. But is the public interested? Not at all, sir. And that's why I'm an independent journalist, hoping to sell some stories. Have you any idea of the danger you face in these streets at night? I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs incensed by the fever. Do you think the flu is really responsible for this, Doctor? I'm convinced there is more at work here than a simple epidemic. Really? <sighs> to be honest, I could say the same. Some of the sick I saw or heard of. My God, what happened to them? Christina Popper claims she sells her body because she can't find any other work. Do you believe her? Of course I do. Her story is exactly what I want my readers to understand. We live in an intolerant and divided nation. Do you think things will ever change, Mr. Darby? I believe the situation can only improve. And now that women can vote, I'm convinced things will change. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. Что там забрать коробку? А найти Ричарда Интеркота, найти почтовый ящик. Тишенько же найти почтовый ящик. Так, ладно, на этом все, прервемся. И так уже слишком много побегали, много поболтали, мало экшона. Но все, до скорого, давай.